Before moving on, let's briefly review what we accomplished. In this lesson, we created an administrative IM user. We did that by first creating a group, assigning it the administrator access AWS managed policy, and then adding the user to the group. After that, we viewed the CloudTrail event history. The event history stores 90 days worth of events, and it's especially useful for troubleshooting. If you notice unusual activity on your AWS account, maybe an EC2 instance mysteriously gets rebooted, CloudTrail events can tell you when it happened and who or what did it. We configured the AWS command line interface. We're gonna be using the AWS CLI extensively because unlike the management console, which changes every second, the CLI commands almost never change. Finally, we requested a TLS certificate from AWS Certificate Manager, ACM. ACM requires you to validate the domain, that is, prove that you control it. You can do so by using DNS validation, which is the approach I recommend, or you can have ACM send a validation email to the administrative context listed in the domain's Whois record. All right, in the next lesson, you're going to learn how to build reliable virtual private cloud, VPC networks. VPCs are the foundation of AWS. They're what connect resources together, not just AWS resources, but external resources as well. So it's critical that you have a solid understanding of how VPCs work.